just having a hood removed by Walter Swinburne. That's it. Under orders. And that away. Kissing Cousin breaks fast over on the far side. And Kissing Cousin going on. Kissing Cousin from Eternal Rev. And Lemon Souffle over on the far side. Making ground on the inside is relatively special. But it's Kissing Cousin making it, flashing her tail as she makes the pace from on the far side. Uh, Lester on Lemon Souffle. Tracking these two are Eternal Rev. Just in behind them, Metaf and uh, also relatively special. But uh, racing towards the five furlong pole and it's still Kissing Cousin with the advantage from Lemon Souffle past the five, racing towards the four and Kissing Cousin from Lemon Souffle. Relatively special just in behind them with uh, Eternal Rev, Lady Fairfax on the outside, racing towards the home turn now in the Coronation Stakes. And it's still Michael Canan in the lead from Lester Pickett on Lemon Souffle. Then comes Eternal Rev and Cash Aspis is on the inside and then Metoff behind Metoff is Lady Fairfax into the home straight and still kissing cousin with the advantage kissing cousin from lemon souffle metoffs making ground towards the stand side kissing cousin from lemon souffle in the center of the course kissing cousin still making it from eternal rev and then comes metoff on the outside las meninas is making progress towards the stand side they're racing inside the final furlong now and it's kissing cousin from metoff the challenger on the near side eternal rev eternal rev and kissing cousin as they race towards the line kissing cousin and eternal rev it's another photo a photo between kissing cousin and eternal rev from metoff and lemon souffle and las meninas and zafar from looking right back to last place it was Lady Fairfax, so once again a photo finish to the coronation stakes, a photo between uh, number two, Kissing Cousin, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by Henry Cecil and ridden by Mick Kinnan, and number one, Eternal Rev, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by Francois Boutin and ridden by Cash Asmussen with the lively possibility that Mick Kinnan has virtually sewn up the uh, Ritz Club Charity Trophy by achieving his fourth success. But once again, it's a close one. Another masterful piece of riding by Michael Canaan, waiting in front. Lester on his shoulder, turning in. Also Cash Asmussen on eternal rev. John Reed told to hold Las Meninas up, waiting for a split. Willie Carson's got the leaders covered on the outside, makes his move on Met Hart. Now John Reed gets out, but there's only two furlongs to run, and the ones up front aren't stopping. Michael Canan goes for his whip, anxious not to raise his whip above the overarm position. Cash Asmussen there with his whip in his right hand, just throwing down his challenge. Lemon Souffle gets, runs out of stamina here. Metoff's still got a chance. Las Meninas has got too much to do and doesn't fire today. And now it becomes a duel between the two Sheikh Mohammed fillies. Eternal Rev throwing down her challenge. Cash Asmussen, the top rider in France. Michael Canan, the top rider in Europe, perhaps. Willie Carson closing all the time in Met half, but without that little burst of toe that she seems to find so effectively on soft ground. It's the two fillies in the Sheikh Mohammed colours, just like the Queen Anne yesterday. On the far side, Michael Canaan getting a little bit extra out of Kissing Cousin. Will the post come in time for her? Following the new whip guidelines, at the line, it's Kissing Cousin by a nostril, it looks, from Eternal Rev second, mate half third. Once again, what a race.